I really love um, pasta markers because I love the color you can get from it and the vibrancy and just like the freedom of just the flow and being able to kind of just put out whatever and if I don't like something I can just go back and go over but I mostly do Posca's which is like acrylic markers and then I also do a lot of pen work um, and not too much of a fussy medium kind of person. So what um, what are some of the themes of the work you'll be sharing on Friday? So a lot of the themes <laughs> that my artwork um, will be is kind of just about um, ordinary things that I've kind of taken um, out of perspective and kind of done my own twist on it. Um, I have a piece that's going to be about um, the ruralness of being in Idaho and my experience working with people who kind of have a different background than what I'm used to. Mm. but realizing that that's all they know so it's really hard to have a judgment on them based off of things that they um, aren't aware of you know just like life growing up in maybe a trailer home and eating hostess as like dinner most nights and helping out in the family farm like that's just the life that some people know and you know what that's okay we shouldn't judge them for something that that's just the way things are for them so I kind of like to make my art about the human form and just like everyday things and just try to get people to understand that there's more than just um, what it appears to be but not making it like super abstract and like oh what does this mean you know just kind of finding the unordinary in the ordinary so right, bringing out the nuance of everyday things yeah exactly I mean especially living in a college town and something that's different and trying to like find things that are entertaining and engaging but it's really just about perspective and um, using what's in front of you and putting your own spin on it or trying to see outside the barriers and not necessarily trying to be different but just trying to find your niche and trying to find what you love and what makes you happy and what makes um, something exciting to you yeah. even if it's just a little thing you know like salt and pepper shakers <laughs> yeah so. Or what are you looking forward to seeing and kind of experiencing at the show? I'm really excited to kind of see all the different art that's going to be coming together because I really love and respect that aspect of art where anyone can do anything, but we all have a sense of um, knowing and kind of respectfulness for each other. And that's so cool that you feel this way and that you were able to express it in such a way that can be um, physically portrayed um, that you can look at. So and I'm really excited to kind of get to meet some new people, kind of meet new artists and uh, make new connections. I really love meeting new people and um, just kind of getting to know them and their stories and um, I love meeting new artists and kind of seeing their process and uh, what makes them want to make what they make. So yeah. Do you have an Instagram to show off your art? I do. It's um, ghoulsloveart underscore. Um, it's a name that I just, I don't know, I kind of am geeky when it comes to ghost and spooky stuff. <laughs> I, I love I love stuff like that. So when I made my Instagram handle, I was like, uh, let's see how this works out. <laughs> it's kind of just stuck. I've thought about changing it, 